You must believe in yourself. You must find your true self if you want to believe in yourself. How are you going to believe in yourself if you don't know who you are? So if you have a certain nature, you need to understand it. You need to know that that's who that you are. And then you need to flow with that nature and to understand why in the world the Creator made you to be who that you are. That it's so hard for you to wake up in the mornings. That you always need to ask for a second dish while you're eating. You need to know why. Not only to criticize yourself and to break yourself and to hate yourself and to punish yourself and, 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 and to destroy yourself because of having those lackings. Maybe in the eyes of the Creator that we believe that He is a perfect Creator and He created you in a certain shape with a certain nature. Maybe He had a purpose while creating you like that. Maybe there is a certain power, maybe there is a certain quality, even in your defaults, even in your weaknesses. For an example, there can be a situation that you, and only because that you're weak in a certain way, gonna have a certain hobby that is negative, that you don't like, and you are wrapped after that thing. You're falling again and again after that hobby, after that desire, and you're failing. In your eyes, the way that you judge yourself for you, it's a failure. And you keep on failing and falling and falling. But one day, the amazing Creator will make a combination. He will take you and will let you meet a person that have the same problem or even worse than yours. And you will open your heart and share your pain. And He will listen to you and will learn from you. And you will save His life. Or at least you're going to give Him enough power to deal with a certain challenge that He won't be able to deal with without your wisdom, without your life experience. So God chose you to be His messenger, to provide that wisdom to one of his children and to save his life or really to give him a hand and a support and to build that person that is so precious and amazing and important in the eyes of the Creator. But for that, he had to qualify you. And his way to qualify you was to kick you to the swamps of darkness, to the lowest and darkest places in the universe and to let you swallow some of that filth for a certain time in your life, and there, in that place, you bought your life experience. And He also gave you the strength to climb up from that swamp, and to become who that you are today, a person that is dealing with his weaknesses, a strong person that is trying, that is not giving up, that is restarting over and over, and that read few books in his life, and got hope, and heard that there is no despair, and now you, with that strength, you're going to go and going to illuminate the world with the light of faith, with the light of truth, of honesty, of your life experience. So instead of chasing yourself and blaming yourself, just give the credit to King of all kings to understand that He was the one that sent Yaakov, our father, to Egypt, and then He brought him back with all of his children, with all of his treasures. But first of all, he sent him to Egypt. So instead of blaming yourself that you're now stuck in Egypt, remind yourself that there is a Creator. There is a Creator and He is with you in Egypt. 100% with you in Egypt. Surrounding you, wrapping you, hugging you, supporting you, building you, and also hurting you. And also shaking your stability. And also making you doubt yourself and doubt the Torah and doubt the rabbis and doubt the wisdom and doubt faith and doubt the reality of the world to come. And He is hiding His face, face from you with a purpose. And what's that purpose? You should find that purpose. I cannot tell you what's your purpose. I can tell you what I found out about myself. That I can share. And you can learn from me not how to become like me. You should learn from me how to become yourself. 
Because that's the mission of your life, to be who that you really are. And the evil inclination, that damn snake, what that he did, no one ever did before. He took the worst thing of them all. He took something so ludicrous, something so crazy. He found the idea of the most impossible thing in the world and he planted it inside the hearts and the minds of all human beings. He let everyone feel wrong with who that they are and that they will always follow their eyes to see how to imitate and how to become like other people. And it's the only thing in the world that is impossible for you to do, to become someone else. You cannot do that. No matter how inspiring that person will be, that you will look up to, you will never going to be him. Even with plastic surgeries, even with a thousands of years in his Beit Midrash, you won't become him. You will never be him, even if you're going to always eat his leftovers, always going to wear what that he wore, always going to read from his books, you're not going to become him. You will never going to become him. It won't help you. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all His, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.